YouTube and I'm back with another video in this particular video um if you can tell by the title it's going to be a little different I want to do something called glam or no ma'am yes so basically it's going to be the items that either I thought were glam for the month of June or no ma'am for the month of June um I hope you guys really like this new series it's going to be every single month so just a different take on monthly favorites pretty much so without further ado let's go ahead and get up in this first ever glam or no ma'am okay the first glam it's going to be the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. As you guys know, this is Bay, Bay, Bay. Love it. It is everything that I need up in my life. Um, yeah. Great, great, great moisturizer. I like something that just melts into the skin. It's not greasy. It doesn't feel like I have a lot on my face. And this does it for me. It is just, it melts into the skin like no other. And it's just everything the smell the texture uh y'all it's a little pricey to be drugstore but i mean hey neutrogena is pricey next is going to be this little baby right here love it i'm obsessed with vaseline on my lips it just feels freaking amazing for whatever reason it's a squeezy tube it's just got me just love struck i mean as you can see, I'm putting a dent into it right here. It's just bomb. Got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar. No complaints this way. Next, glam, the Nika K Duos. Now, y'all know I could not have a favorites video and not mention these. What? Yes, they're everything. Not going to talk a lot about them because I did do a... um haul recently mentioning these two products and then i just did another beauty supply store haul featuring a lot of nika k new products well i don't know if they're new but some nika k products baby when i went to the beauty supply store um yesterday baby these things right here were almost sold out and they have some other highlighters that are like white and yellow and mm, they, I think they were mad. I don't know how that. I was really tempted to get it, but I just don't really know how I would use that just yet. But I actually might just because these right here, bomb, bomb highlighter, bomb. If you're lighter than me, these would be some good shades to contour with. I just use them for my crease. But honey, don't sleep. Do not sleep on that beauty supply store, honey, because. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. So, I have four concealers I'm going to talk about. Yes. And I just dropped one. It's 4th of July, honey. And everybody and their mama is up out in these streets. Um, Sorry, excuse my vanity. It's a mess, y'all. When I get to filming and doing my makeup, it gets a little cray. But first thing first is the Master Conceal by Maybelline. This came out, I believe, last year. This is 50 medium deep. This is the deepest shade, unfortunately. And it's so light, but I use it for a brow bone highlight. The reason why this is bomb is because, honey, it has a matte finish. And that matte finish is everything. So now since it is summer, I don't use cream to conceal my eyebrows. I do use liquid, but it has to be matte. So this is what I've been using. It's Bay. I mean, you can see the dent that I've been using this thing. Like, it's it's serious. When I love something, y'all, I love it. And, and I rock with it. Next concealer, baby. This is what I use for on top of the brows. The LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is no secret to the YouTube community. I use color Fawn. Fawn to me is the most universal shade that I've seen because I've seen girls lighter than me use Fawn and I've seen girls darker than me use Fawn. So that just lets you know how universal Fawn is. Fawn is pretty much my skin complexion and it's bomb a matte finish dries quickly i mean honey this right here i never was a fan of under the eye um i always used it either for concealers spot uh concealing but i think i found what is really what i want to use it for and that's on top of my brows because honey it's everything next is naked is was by urban decay 
Naked Skin, <laughs> Weightless, Complete Coverage Concealer, Bay, Bay, Bay. So this is Dark Golden. Now, I've seen a lot of, you know, beauty gurus, really popular YouTubers using this concealer. And I thought, you know, this this really must be the hype. You know, you, you know how some products are just, they got to be hyping it up. This is not, this is not hyped up. This is full coverage concealer and it feels like butter. Literally, like, I feel like I'm putting butter underneath my eye. I mean, it's everything that I need in my life. The only concern is that this is neutral, so it just balances out my skin tone. And I want something that's bright. Now, I ain't saying all the, all the way bright, but I do want some brightness going on, especially since it's summertime. So, I need to go and get me another shade now. Um, That's in the $20 range. I want to stay more in the high $20 range. I don't think it's the low $20 range, but... I I am not for certain but it's somewhere within twenty dollars next is the sephora bright future gel serum concealer in color cream caramel honey 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 it's bomb it gives me that yellow undertone that i like to put back into my face it is bomb i've been using this concealer for over a year at this point this is good concealer and i don't feel like it's talked about enough like where are these people at that's using this? I mean, because every time I go to mine, the shit's selling off the goddamn rack. I mean, I can never find caramel and it's a pecan pie, the other shade that I used to use in the wintertime. So, why is it not getting talked about? Like, hello? This concealer is bomb, okay? Really bomb. Now, I do not like the applicator. That's one thing that I will say. This is not ideal for me. I actually need to take out this little... It's not a silver... Silver... I can't even talk. But it's... I don't know what this is called, but I need to take this out to get more product out. Because the problem that I have with this is that you cannot really get all the product out. Like, I have to keep going in here, get more. That's too much. That's too much. So, I think they do need to change. Don't change the formula, but change the packaging some type of way. Moving right along is the Clear Brow Gel. I've been using this for years. One of my best friends put me on to this, honey, and she could have not done a better thing to me. Ever since she did, it's just, it's bad. It is expensive, $20. Um, hopefully, it's a dupe over there on my vanity. I got the Milani Gel Brow something. Um, and I hope it is good just like this is because $20, honey, is steep. But, baby, when I keep this, I keep this. This lasts for a long time. I don't buy it often. I only buy it maybe twice a year or not even that often. So, okay. Moving right along to brow pencils that y'all know the girl has been loving. So, first things first is the Micro by NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. It has a very dry formula and it just sticks onto the skin. That's why I like it. This is $9.99 at Ulta. They do have, uh, oftentimes have a buy one get one 50% off by NYX. Next is the Top Brow by Kiss New York or Ruby Kisses. I believe that those are sister brands, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, please someone correct me. Um, this is $7.99 at the Beauty Supply Store. This is deep dark brown. Way too deep. Have it on my brows today. I need something a smidget lighter. I think I really want to um, get into the whole thing that Rennie... Rennie, I'm just going to say Rennie because I don't know how to pronounce that last name and I don't got time. You know, for whatever reason, when I get on camera, I get so tongue-tied and can't even really talk. So, <laughs> Rennie, anytime, if you know the makeup artist that I'm talking about, you know, he bleaches brows. Like, all his brows are very, very light. So, I just want to see what that look is really all about because I actually like it. Like, dark browns are... are Dark brows are really harsh, so I just want to see what well, what's really good with that light brow or that bleach brow type thing going on. What's what's really good, Renny? So yes, um, the brush. Now I have a array of brushes I'm going to talk about, but this one in particular has to get talked about with the concealers and brows. 
um, and brow pencils because I use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend out my concealer underneath when I put it and on top when I put my concealer. Baby, this is bomb. At first, I've had this brush for years, you guys. I had this brush when it first came out and um, I did not like it. I was like, and I had got so many and I believe I must have gave them away or something because I cannot find but this one and honey this brush is nothing to play with this is a good ass brush it just flawlessly blends like what it says flawless concealer brush it flawlessly blends the concealer that is seamlessly like you don't know where it began or ended it's bomb let's talk about some eyeliners glam 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 so i love this urban decay uh velvet glide on 24 7 glide on eye pencil when i say my eyes water i wear contact so when i put this in it stays this was a sample a deluxe sample but i i have to go ahead and get the full size i think it's about 18 or 20 dollars it's in black velvet it's bomb i feel like these are not talked about enough neither they're slip on we all want an eye pencil that's going to stay in our eye and not move this is one of them I think I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a cheaper alternative in just a second now this is the elf one dollar liner I've had this for years been using this it does the job um I'm not really big into eyeliner in the first place I'm trying to get more into it um so I've just been trying to get out of my element. I don't like wearing shadow that much, but y'all see, you know, every time I'm on camera, I try to have me a shadow look going. Um, so liner, not really a fond of. I feel like it starts off good and it ends crazy, but just been really trying to get into it. And I really like this. I like the brush on here. That's what really got me. So there you have it. Moving right along to some more glams, more glams. Why I'm trying to get my own little singing thing going on, girl. So I'm not going to really talk about these brushes really in depth because as you can see, and I dropped one, but I'm not going to pick it up. All of these are real techniques. All of them are bomb. So I use this one for foundation. This one for foundation. I might use this for highlight. Um, you know, boom, boom, boom. I use this to wipe off. Uh, use this to wipe off excess powder when I set. Um, and these two for blushes or whatever the case may be. Bomb, those are the brushes that I use. They're so soft that everything to me, other brushes just do not compare to me. You know, people be talking about Morphe and Sigma and, and whatever. But... <laughs> I just personally, I don't have not tried Morphe brushes. Do want to try them. So not throwing any shade that way. Not throwing any shade to Sigma because Sigma has been around for a while. I remember when it first came out back in those good old YouTube days. And honey, I wanted me some Sigma brushes so bad. And damn, could not get them. <laughs> but just real techniques it's affordable it can be found anywhere and it's just bomb y'all they are bomb they just have my skin my foundation my makeup just looking a motherfucking one um moving right along another glam is this tart brush honey i use this for powder every single day I got this off. Can y'all guess? Can y'all guess? Let's take a minute. Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. eBay. It's real. I love this brush. I don't like that it has the tart symbol on here. Like, with eBay, a lot of things, y'all ain't got to flex for me. You know, I'm just a simple old gal. I'm not around here trying to flex like, oh my God, this is the best tart brush ever. No, got it off eBay. I know it ain't the real thing. Um, But it does... It's daggone thing. You feel me? I really, really love, love, love this brush, y'all. I mean, the way it puts on powder is just unbelievable. It's it's ridic. It's ridiculous. So I plan on getting several, um, several of these. Moving right along. Powder, 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 powder. I cannot talk about one without talking about the other because I do mix these. So, Airspun by itself is bomb. It does have a grandma smell. It doesn't bother me that much. This is just in the regular old translucent, not the extra coverage or none of that. Just plain old, plain old Airspun translucent powder. I do, um, 
I do about two parts air spun and two parts Sasha I use a Sasha buttercup just because I like for it to be a yellow undertone so that's why I typically you know use it um well mix these two together Ben and I was never bae for me so when Sasha Buttercup came out with this well when Sasha Cosmetics came out with Buttercup it was everything for me just for whatever reason I could not get with the Ben Nye. not throwing no shade and not saying that it was not bomb but you know I used it for years and I never loved it but with Sasha Cosmetics I loved it like it's just it's a it's a part of me I feel like it's a part of my makeup routine foundation routine it's just bomb but I have to use them both together for whatever reason I like the coverage of the air spun but I like the color of the Sasha so if that makes sense get into it get into it get into it so we're gonna move right along to no man's but give me one second Woo! I'm back excuse my vanity again like i said so the first thing is the salon perfect brow scare plus treat intent now i've seen a youtuber on here rave about this and i was like okay i want to you know i do have some brow tinting uh products but i want to get into a little little situation like this i liked it so this is what it looked like this was the tint so as you can see that's that was basically how you're supposed to coach your brows not impressed not impressed at all and then this was the treat um i did throw the packaging away but i don't quite get what was the treating about that was just my personal preference but i tried it didn't work out so this is going to be a no ma'am next is the laura mercier translucent translucent loose setting powder it makes me look ashy y'all i want to love it though i really want to love it if y'all use this, tell me how do y'all use it because I don't love it. I don't like it. It's a no ma'am. I mean, what is this? I don't see the hype. I don't see the hype. So y'all let me know what's the hype. But as far as is that I'm concerned, no ma'am. Next, next, next. Now, both of these products, going to talk about them separately, but they're not a no ma'am. They're actually a glam, but they have some aspects of them that make me almost want to say no ma'am. Let's go ahead and talk about it. MAC Pro Long Concealer. I love this. I love this. I love this. I have been loving this for the past six months. That was, of course, before I found my Urban Decay waitlist. But loved it, loved it, loved it. But what's up with the creasing, though? And I'm not the only person that said this. I've watched videos on this product, and so many people complain about the creasing. So it's definitely a glam because it is a bomb. It does last all day long. It will do that but the creasing is crazy but all you have to do is set it you know get out those creases before you set it. you know smooth it over with the finger with the brush with the beauty blender whatever you use and then go right back over it with a setting powder simple fix right next this is a dupe for that Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil. Definitely a dupe. But my problem is, and look how damn pigmented it is. It's like velvet. Let me show y'all this again. Butter. Butter, y'all. Butter. Butter. Um, <laughs> it is just... I really, really do like it, but... And I feel like when I watch reviews on this, people don't be keeping it real and saying this. It moves. It does not stay in the water line. Like, I have to set it. There again, just like with that concealer. That one creases, but with this, this moves. And I have to set it. And I don't like that it's so, like, it can almost look very harsh. You know, so I have to definitely use a really, really light hand with it. Have to set it. And to me, that's like doing too much. I don't want to do all that. With that Urban Decay, baby, I don't set it. And it's not going to move. Once it lays down, it's down. So, those are my only no ma'ams for this month. I think that's good. It wasn't that many. It was more so glam. But if you do like this new series please let me know now as you can tell i don't have setting sprays in this video and y'all know i got some that i've been loving 
I don't have any foundations. And y'all already know it's something that I've been loving. And I don't have any primers. And y'all already know 